My favorite meal depends on my mood. Uh, and I have a lot of moods, um, anybody will tell you. One of my favorite meals uh, is gnocchi, for instance. Gnocchi and pesto. Roast chicken with vegetables in the oven, like a one-pot wonder, you know, put everything into the pot and just cook it and, and uh, you know, and to eat it almost out of the pan, you know, eat things off the fire. Simple eating, uh, tasty food, uh, and good product. Uh, that's, that's, how I like to, uh, that's how I like to eat. One of my earliest memories of food was making Cook Sisters with my grandmother. I was standing on a chair next to her and, and working. We were picking green beans and we were making Cook Sisters and there was a sheep's head in the oven. It was almost farm to table, you know, literally we would catch fish in the morning and that afternoon uh, my mum would have made fish cakes or like fried fish or, you know, fish braai or whatever, whatever it was. So there was always, there was always this connection with food. Usually when I get home I sort of sit on the couch. Uh, I, I try not to switch on the TV because otherwise I'll still be there at four in the morning. I'm, I'm an absolute vegetable when it comes to TV. I'd, I'd watch anything. Um, but cheese, I'm, I'm a, a huge fan of cheese. And uh, um, so I generally generally have, have some cheese with, with some wine, obviously. Um, and uh, and just, it sounds a bit snobbish, but, but really is as simple as that. But sometimes there is no cheese. So I'd have the cracker with like chili jam. I'd sort of just have a, a whiskey or two and just sort of, again, just nice ways just to slow down after work and uh, uh, before you get into bed because to try and get into bed when you when you're wired like that is is, uh, is almost impossible i don't have a food philosophy my belief is when you're working with food it's got to be a gut feel it's got to be cooking from the heart and and that's when you create beautiful things and, and good things and tasty things